Hey yo, I'm working on my Q&A video and while you guys wait for that, I might as well talk about The Black Phone. A movie I just saw, it comes from the director of Doctor Strange, a movie that I don't like, but also comes from the director of Sinister, which is a movie I do like. Sinister I find to be one of the more underrated horror movies out there, even though it's goofy as fuck. So now Scott Derrickson has The Black Phone, starring my favorite actor right now, Ethan Hawke. Now the trailer for The Black Phone had me a bit worried because it basically showed us the entire movie and uh, yeah that's kind of the case but as predictable as it was that doesn't mean the movie isn't a fucking blast. What surprised me the most about this movie was just the fact that it didn't take itself entirely seriously. There's quite a bit of humor thrown into this movie and it's genuinely funny. The kind of humor they use is kind of ridiculous and goofy, but it's trying to be ridiculous and it absolutely works. And the reason why it works is because they only use the humor when they felt it was necessary. And it doesn't take away from any of the creepy or tense moments, and it never felt out of place. I was laughing quite often during this movie, surprisingly. The horror aspects also work extremely well. This movie has some of the best jump scares I've seen in a while. It doesn't follow what a traditional horror movie jump scare is, and instead just lets it happen. And it's very effective every single time. There wasn't really much predictability to these jump scares, and that's what I loved most about them. And also, I gotta mention, even though I knew what was gonna happen at the end, I didn't expect how certain elements throughout the movie were going to play into the ending, which made the third act so incredibly satisfying. The build-up and payoff was so clever, and hearing the audience react to it was so much fun. Ethan Hawke is probably my favorite actor ever right now, so of course he absolutely nails this role. The way he talks, the way he moves, he's absolutely terrifying. But again, there's a sense of goofiness within his performance. My personal favorite being the fact that he wears grandpa pants and has a dad bod. But the main child actor, Mason Thames, god damn he's going places. He literally acts circles around Ethan Hawke. He's 90% of the movie and he commands every second that he's in and makes his character so likable. But everyone else though? Wow. Yeah, th this is where my problems start to set in. The acting, for the most part, in my opinion, is really rough. The actress who plays Finney's little sister flip-flops between being good and bad. And what I mean by that is that when she has to be comedic, she's really good. She owns all the comedic moments that she has. But when she has to portray dramatic moments... Wow. Okay, so there's a scene between her and her father that has some of the most cringe-inducing acting from both of them that I've seen. She is not convincing when it comes to acting upset. But since I brought the father up too, the actor playing the father was the worst. He's supposed to be this threatening, abusive father, but he performs it like he's in a Tim and Eric skit. While I said this movie is for the most part engaging, it takes forever to get to the point. The first 30 minutes of the movie, I was worried I wasn't going to like it, because I was greeted with terrible acting, pointless scenes, development that goes on for way too long. The first 30 minutes was so annoyingly slow. Once Ethan Hawke gets introduced, the movie gets really good, but did you really need all that time to get to the point? I get that you want to develop your characters, but there should be a limit. This movie is 1 hour and 42 minutes long, and you could have cut out 10 minutes of the opening. I don't want to get into spoilers, but this movie has subplots that are really, really stupid. One involving Finney's little sister, and one involving... One other guy, who has connections to Ethan Hawke's character, again I won't spoil, but that whole subplot just makes Ethan Hawke's character seem so dumb. Like bruh, you suck at kidnapping, why would you do this if you don't want to get caught? Oh but AJ, it was in the book, well the book sucks, I'm sorry. Okay that's not true, I haven't read it. Those two subplots bothered me throughout the movie, and it ruined any character involved. 
But overall, I had a fun time with the Black Phone. When it's engaging, it's engaging, and it is littered with great ideas that are so much fun to see unfold. Ethan Hawke and Mason Tames are fantastic, and it's honestly worth seeing for them. Go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching here on my socials if you want to connect with me, and please subscribe. And my next video is going to be my 100th video Q&A, and I know I already surpassed 100 videos, so I'm cheating a bit. But yeah, look forward to that. Alright, bye bye